Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so we watched a really cute movie. Carl came over um, for Sunday dinner like he always does. And um, he found this movie on Netflix called Troll. Well, I don't know. Cute is the right word. It's it's kind of a Norwegian. <laughs> it's a Norwegian uh, version of Godzilla. Norwegian Godzilla. Anyways, yeah, I've seen. It. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. So oh, it's pretty enjoyable. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy, crazy though. Kind of has a sad ending though. But did they come back? Did they come out with a new one? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm going to have to mute myself. The, the doorman is calling me. Okay. We need to hold music. <laughs> I wish I could throw my voice. What's that? I said, I wish I could throw my voice. Oh. <laughs> um, you can see your mouth, we, I, see your mouth moving. <laughs> Um, um, so I'm sitting here last night and when Carl comes over for Sunday dinner, we, uh, I always unlock the door and leave the door open and he had, he like lightly taps, you know, knocks on the door and then he comes in. So I was, I was actually on my computer and wasn't, you know, I heard the tap on the door and I said, come on in. Hey, come on in. Well, it wasn't Carl, it was the uh, the doorman. <laughs> um, I'm like, oh, and then I finally look over and I'm like, oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> anyway, um, a neighbor um, down on 11th floor apparently uh, has some kind of a leak in her, in her plumbing. And uh, we weren't, we couldn't, he, he was coming up to ask us not to use our kitchen sink or dishwasher and I'm like oh that's not so good I've got Carl coming over for, for Sunday dinner so I got all the dirty dishes stacked <laughs> anyway he was just calling now just to tell me that I that they got the problem fixed apparently it's safe to wash the dishes what what that it's safe to wash the dishes it's safe to wash the dishes now now that everything now that everything is dried on and <laughs> Yeah, the dishwasher was full, but before he came, but now it's really full. Anyway, whatever. So, the the challenges of being in a high rise, huh? Yeah, I guess it doesn't sound too bad. No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, not for me. Um, the uh, the woman who had the problem was sending out emails and pictures and whatever, but. Um, you know, it's it's kind of an issue in these older buildings that the plumbing ends up, you know, after a lifetime of use, they end up needing repair and replacement. So, yeah. What yeah. year was yours built? I think it was like sixty nine or seventy. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's a big expense. Well, th that those are the soil stacks. So the soil stacks, I don't know. I don't think. Well, what do I know? I don't know. I don't know about plumbing, but but I know that the risers, um, you start getting You're not an expert on soil stacks. What? Yeah, no, I'm not an expert on soil stacks. But the uh, but the risers, you start getting problems with water pressure, and then they have that they have to re replace the risers, and that becomes an expensive project. So, mm. and uh, I mean, yeah. It's it's a big. What'd you have for dinner? Huh? For the... <laughs> I said, what did you have for dinner? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Oh. <laughs> we, uh, I didn't cook. We. Oh, that uh, was a sore subject. We, <laughs> we, I picked up a rotisserie chicken. Oh. So yeah, I haven't had one of those in years. It was fine. It's good, you know. I, I didn't cook. I didn't feel like I didn't feel like cooking. You didn't have too many dirty dishes then. You didn't cook. True that. I had a bunch of dirty dishes before. <laughs> so, so what did you do this weekend? 
Well, we saw that movie yesterday and it was actually, I thought, really good. What, what was the name of it again? The Inspection? Yeah. Um, it's uh, written and directed by the guy who's, it's, it was his story. And he was like a uh, uh, 20, it starts, he's like a 25 year old gay African American guy, like basically living on the street in New York is his um his mom had turned him out because he was gay and um he ends up joining the marines he's living like on the street and in shelters and stuff he joined the marines and the whole thing took place with him in boot camp um and, be and becoming a marine um and it was really good yeah really uh, that pretty moving um, so what is the inspection referred to, the title? The, the, the inspection that they get to become a Marine, like, you know, oh. the there's like the final inspection or whatever. They have to cross all the hurdles and then there's like the final um, inspection. So it's really, it's a story about him becoming a Marine. I mean, yeah. overcoming his challenge, family situation, whatnot, becoming a Marine. Yeah, and and it being obvious in boot camp that he's gay and oh, it's during the Iraq war stuff. Um, so it's, a, you know, I don't know exact dates. I think it was, you know, in the, the mid aughts or so. Yeah. But, um, well, it was Clinton that was, it wasn't it Clinton that started the don't ask, don't tell. Yeah. It was during don't ask, don't tell. Um, so yeah, it was after that, but of course the first thing that they're asking them when they're, yelling at them when they get off as if they if they're homosexual <laughs> even though they're not supposed to but um yeah and you know and him the difference in the the way he was treated by different people and and I don't it was just it was really well done and and the relationship with his mother um Gabriella Union who plays his mother is really beautiful <laughs> but they they like kind of messed her skin all up and everything to be kind of like a you know a worn you know hardened kind of person or whatever but um i just thought it was really good and he wrote and directed it oh. and uh at the end when they get their assignments he was his assignment was he was going to be i forgot what they called it but he was basically going to be working making films and pictures of Mar of the marines Oh. I don't know. It was like, and they didn't go into detail about that, but it was like in action or like what it is. So that was his assignment. That's what he was going to be doing. So obviously that's how he got into film and thus created this movie. And our friends that we went with, he was telling me that the there's some some things at the end that shows like the picture of the real picture of himself and his mother and all that stuff. And um she died right when it was like this, the movie was put together. Um, uh, she died in like 2021 or something. Like, I don't, he said when it came out, I don't know if that meant like they had, it was produced or whatever it was. Cause as far as I know, it's new now, but um, that's, she died at some point in the making of the film mm -hmm. or just after it was made. Mm -hmm. But um, that was, I thought it was really moving. At times it was hard to watch, um, but it was, I thought it was really well done. Mm. Nice. nice. Okay. And the guy that stars in it, I looked him up. I didn't, I, he looked familiar, but I didn't know him. Um, but I guess he's a, uh, a Broadway, like uh, musical theater guy. Oh. And um, he was one of the few people to be nominated for two different Tony awards for different roles in the same year. Huh. Um, yeah. So he's a real talent. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, he did a really good job in the film, so. I saw on the front page of the Tribune this morning that um, Lori Lightfoot is getting behind this tiny home project for um, homeless as a way to, mm -hmm. to, to put a, you know, create shelters for homeless. Mm -hmm. um, there's a guy who um, 
he's come to Chicago and he's, for, he's formed an organization. He's been lobbying for this for, for quite some time, even um, uh, when Ram was still uh, mayor, mm. um, but didn't get any traction with it, you know, at that point, but is now starting to get traction and uh, on it. I, I, uh, <clears throat> I have a client that purchased um, a vacant lot down um, in Auburn, um, uh, and Auburn Gresham, um, who would, he bought it as an investment, but he was, he didn't really know what he was doing, sadly. <laughs> so, um, he's trying to get, kind of get out from under it, but, um, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough resale because he overpaid for it basically. But, um, um, he, he, now he's exploring this concept of putting maybe a tiny home on there or several tiny, tiny, homes. it's an oversized lot. Mm -hmm. So he could probably put three or four tiny homes on there, which I, I don't know what the zoning, <clears throat> um, I guess there'd have to be some sort of a zoning allowance to, to let that happen. But um, I think it's an interesting concept that they're starting to explore. I don't know what's going on with that ADU pilot. Um, you know, they were they were experimenting with the ADU ordinance, but I don't know. Well, it's not an experiment. I mean, it's it's a it's a done ordinance. It might be expanded later, but it's uh, I mean, it's not a pilot program. It's a it's an actual real program. Well, I thought there were only yeah. certain I thought there were only certain neighborhoods where they were where they were allowing it. Well, it's, it's most areas, but it's it's it depends on the alderman. But that's why I say it might be expanded. But where they're doing it, it's it's a I mean, it's a it's already enacted. So it. Um, it's it's not really a, a test or a pilot. Other ones might allow it in their areas later, but um, but it I mean it's a it's a real it's part of the zoning law now. Oh, I guess okay. I thought they were I thought they were still experimenting with it. I didn't realize that. So no, so. not really. Like I said it might be expanded, mm -hmm. but it's yeah, it's uh, it's not like a pilot. Yeah. yeah. I saw I saw a Lori Lightfoot uh, campaign ad last night. Does that stump? <laughs> yeah. You're kind of you're kind of you're kind of like this hazy thing in the background stump. <laughs> <I'm> always hazy. <laughs> That's so funny. Where are you in the condo? Are you in the city? I'm in the city. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's funny. Well. <laughs> now what happened to you? <laughs> Shut off your video. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> so what's going on this week? We, uh, are you doing uh, Zoo Lights or Chris Kindle Mart or any other fun holiday stuff? We did Zoo Lights with my family when they were here. Um, but you know what? I passed last night. We passed, I think, what you were talking about, which is the night market up on Elston. Weren't you asking about that? No, it's like a Christmas light, like pop up thing. It's by the salt shed. It's run by the salt shed up on Elston. Um, oh, no, I don't know anything Night about Market. that. No, I don't know anything about yeah, that. It, it looks you mean the, the salt shed for the expressway, you mean to put salt on the where no. they where they store the salt to put on the expressway? No. No. The salt shed is the newest music venue. In Chicago, it's the old Morton Salt Salt Shed. Oh, Wait, and I, I didn't um, know this. They have a big outdoor venue that opened the summer on the river, and then in the shed it opens like in February. Inside the shed opens February for the inside venue, but north of it, north of the shed, like a block or so, they have this area that's fenced off that would be like uh, on the east side of Elston up to the river and it's all lit, um, kind of like zoo lights, but it looked really nice, but it's like a, a market, like a Christmas market and they call it the night market. Um, so anyway, we passed that um, last night coming back from the movie and it looked it looked really cool, yeah. Huh. It's not it's a like thing that. you drive through, it's it's like kiosks where you go and you buy stuff like the Chris Kindle Mart. Would I be. think it's kind of my, that's my guess that we couldn't see in. We could just yeah. see the lights and stuff and there was parking, there were signs for the parking for it and it was called the, the Salt Shed Night Market. 
um, <laughs> but it's interesting because it's not really at the salt shed, it's north of it some, but yeah. so it's not on their venue space. Um, I didn't know that they outdoor. could turn the old Morton salt shed into a music venue. That's yeah. really a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Did they, did they, are they keeping Morton salt on the roof? They re, re even repainted it. Oh, uh, wow. It all faded away. They redid the whole. Because it's like a landmark, I guess, huh? Yeah. Well, it, it's not designated, but they just, that they wanted that to be part of the, you know, the history or whatever. So well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. A pretty cool venue. And uh, like you can pull your boat up to the outside on the river to the outside that when the concerts are going on outside, they can pull the boats up to it. There yeah, it's a pretty cool. Be, I think it's a really great addition to Chicago's music too. There used to be that talking about uh, pulling up your boats, there was a place, it was on, uh, was it Division? I think Division in the river. And it was a, it was like a bar and restaurant, and people would pull their bars on the on the on the south yeah. corner there. Yeah. And they got shut down because it was a total death trap. Because <laughs> they, they they put it together with with debris that they pulled out of the river and built this kind of shack. And <laughs> yeah, we used to go there. What's that? We used to go there. It was called the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I don't think any. I, I don't. They got shut down. I don't think. I don't know what happened to it. I guess there's something standing there. I don't know what it is though. Do you? Uh, no. Yeah. I mean, I think they tore that. They they tore down that whole thing. I think somebody actually built a real structure there so that they could have a venue. But well, there was of, there is like a uh, boat rental place there, like where you rent the boats to go up and down the river and stuff. Well, it used to be a uh, a marina there, actually. Yeah. South of that was it was a marina. The uh, yeah. but I I don't know if that marina is even there. I I don't I don't think that marina is there anymore. It's the boat. It's the boat rental place. Okay, yeah. but the You're, marina you, itself is gone, right? Where you store the boats in the winter. The dry dock. Um, I don't. There may still be dry dock there. I don't know. There wasn't actually a marina. It was a dry dock. Well, no, that used to be the Bond uh, Bond Boatyard. And, and well, that's, people... yeah, that's on land. Boatyards on land. It wasn't on the water like a marina. Like they they pulled the oh, boats oh, up. Well, I mean, it was it, it was a ground. place where where people would store their boats for the winter. Right. Yeah. That's dry what dock. where they could you know what? <laughs> called dry dock. Yeah, where they dry dock the boats. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, whatever. But I. But, but the point being is, I, the point being is, I think it's gone, right? Uh, well, I'm saying I, I don't know if they still. I think they still dry dock some boats there, but most of that land that you're talking about turned into like a boat rental place where you can go and rent boats. That, and so there's like a dock along there where they used to pull the boats up from. That that's where oh, uh, okay. you rent boats. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. All right. Well, on that happy note, everybody have a good week. Enjoy, yeah, enjoy the enjoy holidays. the city and the holidays, and we'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye.